going on everybody welcome back to the 11th island i'm brad that's chris we got a movie review for you today we're talking about the tomorrow war which came out july 2nd starring chris pratt yvonne stravowski and jk simmons it was the new amazon prime original we're going to talk to you quickly about this spoiler free review we're going to give a score out of 100 and then we're going to get into the meat and potatoes of the movie talk about the spoilers so make sure you've watched the movie before you get into that stuff so chris what are your thoughts on the movie i think that this movie I mean, it's getting a lot of hate, and it's getting a lot of that condescending hate where it's like, better than the, than you would expect, but it still sucks. But I think this was a very fun movie. I, I, I My perspective on movies is, like, there's three categories. It's like, one, where it's like, oh my goodness, this changed my life, and that's a very hard one to reach. And then, like, the more two common categories is like, was this a waste of time, or was this a good use of time mm -hmm. watching this? And I enjoyed every second of it. Mm -hmm. um, it was fun. It was a. It's it's like a B movie, but I think the the B movies that come out now, mm -hmm. like they lean too hard in the fact. Oh, we're just doing a cheesy B movie. Mm -hmm. Like they actually like they know their place as a B movie. I mean, this is an Amazon Prime movie. There's aliens. There's like all that stuff. The special effects. Some a little bit of cheese, but they try to be as serious as possible and respect. Like the 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 seriousness of the themes in the movie, yeah. and they do it in a, in a really, um, cause they they're consistent with it enough that you're like, you can kind of trick yourself into thinking like this is this is a high tier movie, yeah. Um, and I think so. I, it was fun the whole way through, and, and it makes you think, you know. Yeah, I I really enjoyed this as well. I was I had low expectations coming in. Like we've seen recent movies like the army of the dead on netflix some of these netflix originals where they kind of fall flat where they give the great trailer uh -huh. they give this all oh, this really interesting storyline and then they just fall flat yeah this movie was very good i found the story very compelling i found that there was a lot of action at every point there wasn't a lot of downtime but it wasn't in a shoved in your face way it was the this makes sense way mm -hmm. for a movie that had time travel where there was a lot of times where you could go oh why don't they just do this? And the movie immediately answered that and mm -hmm. then not like you're stupid, let us explain it to you way in a let's make it make sense type of yeah. way. So I really I I really enjoyed this movie. I think it's honestly like before I get my like I think it's honestly one of my favorite movies of twenty twenty one so far. Mm -hmm. So what's your score out of a hundred on this? I'm gonna give it an an eighty out of a hundred, I th I think it it is a solid move, and that's a solid score. Yes, that, that is. That is you're, you're a picky person. That's you're a, hard to that's, please, a, that's so an that's an eight good. out of that's an eight out of ten. You could divide that somehow to make it a score out of five. Like it's an even number, and four I think five. four out of five. It's simple math. Chris. Yeah, it's a simple <laughs> math. You know, so whether you want to say four out of five, eight out of ten, mm -hmm. eighty out of hundred times a billion and then figure out what the math is on that yeah. i mean that's where i'm at i'm gonna give it i'm gonna get 85 out of 100 i i i really like this movie i think it was i mean it was supposed to come out in theaters i'm sorry i'm <coughs> yeah you, you were losing it yeah. there was... um i it was supposed to come out in theaters if it was a theater movie not just an amazon prime movie it would have still been very good uh -huh. like don't don't think that we're giving yeah. it this highest score because we're impressed yeah. by Amazon's ability. This is like an actually good movie. Yeah, it wouldn't have been out of place in theaters. It, you know, it wouldn't have been. It wouldn't have been yeah, out of exactly. place. You it know, would, it, it would have been realistically a lot better in theaters for the action. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, you ready to get into the meat and potatoes? Yeah, let's. We're we're spoiling this. So yeah, get from out here on out. Yeah. Spoilers will come in. Let me move into camera. Yeah. From so here on out, spoilers. So if be warned. If you have not watched the movie, pause it, go watch no, it, come back and finish the rest better, of the video. Better, better yet, better yet, just mute the video, leave it on for a watch time <laughs> while you watch the movie. Maybe auto-play some of our other videos and then come back and watch it again for the double view time. So, Chris, look. <laughs> no? You don't have jokes in the future? How do you want to start this? What, like, what was your favorite part of the movie? I think my, my favorite part of the movie... Mm, that's I mean it's tough I, I think the 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 one thing that they did really well mm -hmm. was just the amount of set pieces they had you know once you go into the future mm -hmm. and you you made this comment first where it's like I feel like this is the the end scene like this is the end of the movie scene yes. and they like every single section every single act mm 
mm-hmm. feels like a showstopper in and of its own right. Mm-hmm. You know, and the motion they pack in the the and 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 so there's constantly this sense of okay, I, I think I have this movie figured out, mm-hmm. and I think I know where we're gonna be spending. Like, oh, there's an hour and a half left. I know, I know how these hour and a half is gonna be spent, mm-hmm. and it just keeps. Oh, like that just happened. Like what I expected to happen just happened in ten minutes, yeah. and we're on to the next thing. And I think it, it and the the pacing is, I there's some pacing issues which we can get in. For the most part, it's structured very well, and I think that the um just the cinematography is beautiful. Yeah. It's really well shot. The special mm-hmm. effects are are really good yeah. for considering that. I mean. They got strung around with this movie where it's like, okay, we're gonna have it now, and then we're a COVID pushback. I think anytime that happens, you're just like leaking money, and then when money leaks, special like, but it feels like a very like everything we wanted to show, everything we wanted, we were able to put in this movie budget wise, which was good. And and there's so much going on in every shot. There's so many crazy to the, like the real war scenes mm-hmm. are so dense. But everything, like they use leading lines. If you ju- you could break down each shot, mm-hmm. and if we were like film students, which we're not, you Clearly. could definitely like okay, there's like the rule of thirds, and there's leading lines, and there's mm-hmm. like the golden ratio. Everything is balanced in the scene so well that you're never like, I don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah, and I think too, character wise, they did a good job of giving enough backstory, but understanding that you're not into this for a an in-depth backstory Mm -hmm. and that it's not like we're not going to build this long backstory we're going to give it to you as the movie goes on like when he sees his daughter yeah and you're all of a sudden like now i'm really into this storyline of a movie that i came to to kill these wild things yeah so it wasn't a we're going to force you into this storyline and then also when they went into the future like when the, the way they do the draft they could have really made it like the charlie guy mm-hmm. where he clearly has no business being there and that there were some others like that yeah but they made it where the chris pratt's character is an ex-military yeah he's in there with a bunch of others that are trained for this have done multiple yeah. tours of it where it makes sense that they are competent with a gun and know what they're doing yeah. So you're not going, this is completely unrealistic. How could you yeah. How could you be killing these things? You don't know what you're doing. You, they know what they're doing. They know yeah. the hand signals and everything. And it, it, it was very, it, I thought that was well, very done. Well, I too. think what, what was great about that is whenever, like you always need a character that's new to the, to the world they're entering mm-hmm. in order to relate to the audience, mm-hmm. right? Because if we were following people that, like the guy that was, this is his third tour, yeah. Right, and we were centered around this guy, who's an interesting enough character you could make a movie about. Him. But the the difficulty of that is then he's not going to be asking questions. Yeah. You know, he's not going to be asking it, like so. Either you like you get that kind of like, oh yeah, um, I know we've discussed this, but like, can you say this again for the sake of? Mm-hmm. I just I'm just like want to have this conversation again, and really, you just want the audience to hear it. Whereas you get that natural. So so the dance character. You can like he's competent enough that once he gets into the battle, he can like you like okay, this guy knows what he's doing, yeah. um, to the point where it's believable and he can be a real action hero. And but then he still doesn't know about all the details where he's still asking, but he's asking from a military perspective, mm-hmm. right? He's like he's asking the questions he asks are all in the lingo and all in the stuff. So then you have these other characters with him that are completely new, not only to the future, like world with the aliens, but they're also new to Mm -hmm. um, uh, just combat itself. Mm -hmm. And they like, they're there to ask some questions that I was feeling as someone that hasn't been in combat, you know, so it it, like they do a good job of like having those people there. Mm -hmm. And then having Dan there, like enough people that it's like, okay, this one's gonna need to know this information, this one's gonna need to know this, the exposition was done. And Anytime you have a high concept mm-hmm. um, science fiction movie like this, I mean, you, you're packing aliens, you're packing time travel, you're packing like just there's a lot of questions yep. and a lot of exposition. It was done for the most part, like very well. Yeah. So and for the white spikes to the the enemy, I thought like, what did you think of them? Because I thought I saw a trailer. I don't believe any trailers really showed them. I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. The trailer that I watched didn't show them. They really, 
I mean, it wasn't long into the movie that you see it, but it felt like a long yeah. lead up yeah, to yeah. it. They did a good job of that. So I kept thinking, these things better be worth it. And <laughs> were they ever? I mean, they they kind of. There's some scary. Yeah, there's some scary monsters. I mean, they they met my expectations of what would be terrifying in this movie. Yeah, and and I think they they are pretty scary. Um, I'm not as big of a fan of the whole like kind of beast beasty mm-hmm. alien anymore. I think um, that has kind of run its course almost mm-hmm. in these kind of movies. Um, which I was hoping that, like, because this is a very thoughtful movie in terms of um, everything around just the characters, the psychology of it. Um, there's a lot of question, big questions they're asking, mm-hmm. and I and I almost wonder if they they kind of whiff on something where it's you never really feel there's never a point where you're like you feel any sympathy for the the beast. Like it's mm-hmm. just like we are going to exterminate you, and it and it becomes. It, it loses some of oh this guy's gonna sneeze but it loses oh you lost it yeah, lost but it it, it loses some of that like chance to and, and also like I I would have liked to see more of the because they have these like things that, like the the white white spikes so they can shoot spikes and I thought before I saw them when I heard the spikes and you can see like damage where there's yeah. you're like okay they shoot things. They're I just inaccurate with I, I I just thought it'd be a good way to kind of have some gunfights where it's it, a lot of these movies that kind of pit um kind of modern day mil or slightly future military with guns and stuff you're still using bullets mm-hmm. as the primary weapon mm-hmm. versus like a beastie alien it it like they become a lot of just like it, like they just rush and you shoot they rush they shoot and same thing with zombie movies where it's like it, it's there's only one real like combat strategy for the the beasts, mm-hmm. so then it becomes very samey, and that's realistic. I mean, like if you're like a giant like beast like that, you're gonna rush them, but it, it becomes very samey for a lot of the encounters. Yeah. And I was hoping that the 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 spikes could have been used a little bit more, like they were maybe a little bit smaller, and their primary attack is the spikes, and then like they're ducking cover and they're like peeking out like. Pew, 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 you know, and then you have to deal with an enemy that's very similar to you, mm-hmm. but just a little bit more different, like, a, that have that slight variation, yeah, you know? I, I think that would have been cool. I kind of, I see what you're saying, where a lot of the battle scenes seemed very similar. It's kind of copy-paste throughout. Uh-huh. But what I liked, what made the beast good is at the end, I mean, we're really jumping to the end here, uh-huh. is when they found the spaceship. Yeah where they realized that it was another sentient species that kind of flew them in yes. and that they were being hurt. That, to me, really saved it. Yeah. Because yeah, you know, yeah. it was the whole, like, how did they get here? How is this, these savages essentially end up on Earth? Yeah. And then when you essentially, you brought them in, in a way that really, if humans had that technology, imagine if we brought like bastardized lions and tigers to some random planet with a bunch of little people yeah. essentially like yeah. that's essentially what happened and humans would do the same thing yeah <laughs> like, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like, we would just get our lion army dude yeah. to to fight maybe like yeah. you know the pentagon is like watching this movie it's like write that down write that down <laughs> <laughs> space force dude that is one thing though i will say this movie did really good where it went to I thought this whole thing was going to be in the future. If you would have said to me when in the first five minutes, he's going to go in there, he's going to save the day in the future, and then he, at the last second, right after he saved the day, he gets bounced back. That did not happen, clearly. Yeah. yeah. And the way that they found it, they found it in an intriguing way in yeah. Russia. I mean, it was a little bit rushed yeah. how they got there, a little bit unrealistic. But, I mean, the world was in chaos, so you, you can kind of let that slip. Yeah, yeah. And then to, to find them exterminate them the idea that the spaceship had been there for really thousands of years i think, I think yeah it was yeah, like thousands. yeah that to me i i was like this is this is just so cool because it, it's throwing everything into it yeah yeah and, and i think um anytime you deal with time travel and stuff mm-hmm. things can get really lost in the weeds and you really gotta stick to like a a, a basic like you have to keep your 
your general principle mm -hmm. basic as hell because once you start writing the story mm -hmm. it will become complicated just by nature of time travel and i think yeah. i think the rivers thing um that like, was perfect that, that was, was one of those things where it was in a time travel movie where you go why don't they do this and they immediately explain well, it to you but not in a let me walk you through this because yeah, you're dumb way. yeah but it but it's like the rivers thing so it's like you have one point here and one point here. That's the, the present and the future that you jump between. And that river flows. So it's like you can't go back. That and, and it's like, yeah, we could create more. But it's like, mm -hmm. Doug, like, we don't have the taxpayer dollars for that. You know, yeah. it's very realistic. But but it's it's probably one of the coolest time travel. Like, I, I cannot think of a time travel, like, mm -hmm. rule like in terms of a, a universe's rules for time travel that's cooler than that yeah i i found that so intriguing so neat mm -hmm. um i it, i thought yeah i thought it was very good i think the one thing that this movie did too that is very not common nowadays it was a very good movie that doesn't need a sequel and didn't leave itself wide open for a sequel too yeah yeah that they, is a very uncommon because people want that People don't want that money coming afterwards. Yeah. There is no need for a sequel here. Yeah. There was no le like showing yeah. that there could be a sequel. They were just like, here's a good movie. This is it. Yeah, and that's it's refreshing. <clears throat> and I think um, that's where, I mean, something like Army of the Dead, mm -hmm. um, which is like a, a very different movie, but it's very comparable in, I think, in overall genre and also just the the medium that they i mean that's another made to stream movie right yeah um and i think the issue with that like the biggest thing you walk away from that with is there's so many left so much left unresolved and there's like pop, 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 10 things going on because they want to set up that universe yeah. whereas here it's just like we're gonna lay it all out on the table yeah. we're not gonna leave you any questions you know they were very um when when the daughter said Mir miri said like he asks the question to her and he's it's, she says like that's not for me to tell you right now i will tell you when you need to know mm -hmm. and i think that's done a lot in just books and stories and all that to just keep you it's it, it can be very cheap going to um from point a to point b and like wanting you to get the next thing get the next thing or stay for the rest of the movie but it was really just like an act away from yeah, finding it, out so so nothing was really done very cheaply it was like no from a storytelling perspective she just doesn't want to tell you now until she can show you and like sh show you what's what the plan is and i and i think that was really um really well done that way i i agree and just talking about his daughter in the future there too it was that could have been very cheap to be like oh it's your daughter in the future it it, it wasn't the yeah. storyline for that actually made sense the way the things they teased before he jumped to yeah made sense that that was her field and everything yeah and it, it was very well done yeah and the daughter was very good and and i mean dan <clears throat> um chris pratt did a, did a pretty good job there was it was a bit jarring at first mm -hmm. um for me because i mean i love parks parks and rec is one of my favorite shows mm -hmm. and like he was of course like came to fame on that show yeah and i think Anytime you see um, an actor or an actress that you really enjoy on a TV show mm -hmm. and, and you know them and you've spent hours with them on this TV show where it's like a very like TV and movies, very different um, cinematography, yeah. very different resources in terms like you get that little extra color correct. You get that focus pull. You get those multiple camera angles. Mm -hmm. And it's very jarring to see those people in that. It's almost like you turn on like the HD, like you're closer yeah. to meeting them in person. I feel that yeah. where it's just and, and, and I mean, yes, Chris Pratt has been in other movies since. But I think this one was like, there was such a focus on him. And it wasn't like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy where he has that like helmet on at first and then you ease into it like he's just right there. And I think he did. A, I think he did a good job, and yeah, and, and I, it, I think he, I think Chris Pratt's really making a name for himself uh -huh. in the the action movie scene. I think he really broke in with mm -hmm. Star Lord, Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy, outstanding movies. Mm -hmm. So I, I with this, I think he's really breaking into that scene, and there's there's the opening for him to really star in, in some more of these movies. Yeah, and and, and I think I too. think I think there's a range to him now, where where it's. It's like he can, you can get some emotion out of him mm -hmm. that, I mean, really, 
Um, I mean, he dabbled with it with Star Lord, but I think really like this was an emotional performance i mean anytime you get into ptsd you get into uh family issues like the father and like oh like there i think he handled the emotions very well and i think it's set up well i mean even when he found out he didn't get the job like and he goes back into his uh to sit down with his daughter Mm -hmm. you can see the discomfort like you felt for him because it's like that okay I'm with my daughter, I'm with my wife, and I'm also just super disappointed about something in in a almost like childlike way, but I still have to be the fault. Like Yeah, and then, you know? and then what they did in that in that scene too where where he said to be the best you have to do things that pe- that nobody else is willing to do. Yeah. And then to call back that line yeah. way in the future when she gives him the vial to go back. Yeah. Hey, well. Yeah, it, it, they set things up really well. Um the father the stuff with the father was was pretty well done. Like I think I think some of that was very. Um, it would have been nice to kind of have a slower burn on a lot of some of those character moments where it's not just like you have a little bit more show yeah. before you go right to the tell. Yes. You know, and I think that's just a time issue. Like they just this was a what two hours and s- seven minutes. Uh, two and a half hours. Two and yeah, two and a half hours. Yeah. So it's like we're we're pushing it as it is. Yeah. And I think I think anytime you have a situation where COVID pushes things back and you kind of get, like, you just want to add stuff. You're sitting on like it's like you have the off season where you're like, okay, we gotta wait to shoot more, and it's like, okay, what about this? What about this? And you obsess over the characters. And if I mean, obviously, clearly from a writing standpoint, to, all the way to uh, we're gonna film this. There was a labor of love here. Where you almost want to add so much, you want to, and I think that's one of the things where the the movie gets kind of um, held back a little bit is just everybody needs to have this dramatic backstory. Like when they were sharing a nice moment with Dan and Charlie, and Charlie's talking about jelly or jellyfish and telling kind of a funny story, and then Dan's just like asked about the wife, and then Dan's or Charlie's like, Whoa. yeah, you know, and it's just like, yeah, I, I like. I like the emotional element. I like the serious element. I, I I understand this is a war and stuff, and everyone's gonna have a sad story, but it's like we maybe a moment of levity mm-hmm. or a character of levity um, would have been nice yeah. because it, it's it's every conversation where there's downtime, like they're kind of like a nice human moment of levity, and you're just like waiting for them to drop in some some sad stuff. Yeah, some heavy you know? stuff. Yeah, that that makes sense to me. I will say too for PG thirteen movie, you get one F bomb. They very well they very much misplaced this one. I think it could have been a lot better. I think it should have been sooner. Maybe the first time they saw the white spikes, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold up my opinions of a movie because of a misplaced F bomb. So Yeah. You got anything else to say on it? Uh one last thing. It's just some of the dialogue was a bit suspect. I think in some, especially early on, mm-hmm. uh, just the, the, the lines used. I, th- I think one thing about like just writing is mm-hmm. like coming up with a great concept and a great story mm-hmm. and actually um, carrying out to every, every line of that story are two very different skills. Yeah. And I think, uh, I can't remember the guy's name that wrote this. I looked him up last night, but... I think his skills, right? Like his primary I, I skill here for you. is to coming up with concepts. Because Zach, Zach Dean wrote Zach Dean. That's right. Yeah. So it. Zach Dean, like, and I, I don't think I've seen any other of his, his screen or movies that he wrote the screenplay for. But I, like, definitely, I think he had a great concept, mm-hmm. and I think, like, some of the times carrying out that concept suffered a little bit. But it really minor. Yep. details and it comes down to like a few responses a few lines of dialogue that were just yep. kind of stuck out to me but other than that Very fantastic good. movie all right well thank you guys for watching if you familiar with the channel you know this is really our first non-sports content that we've ever really posted we like to kind of branch out and continue to do more of these things like the movie reviews maybe get into some tv shows stuff like that and of course we're gonna keep going with the sports content so make sure to like and subscribe or if you're listening to audio, uh, subscribe there. And uh, keep following the channel. Check out some of the other videos. Check us out on Instagram at 11th Island. And uh, see you later. <laughs>